Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie back at you with another beer review. And today I am looking at another one of Trouble Brewing or Genesee um, beers, Red Flag Amber. Now the Trouble Brewing beers are brewed in Rochester, New York by the Genesee Brewing Company uh, under the uh, pseudo name Trouble Brewing. Uh, and they are sold exclusively, as far as I'm aware, at Walmart grocery stores. Now, this particular amber ale is brewed with honey, or it has honey added. It doesn't necessarily say that it's brewed with honey. It just says on the label, ale with honey added. Now, this is 4.5% alcohol, and I've never had it, so I'm excited to get into this. I bought a 12-pack. Um, of the Trouble Brewing Company beers. There's a variety pack. It has four different beers in it, a pale ale, an IPA, this amber ale, and a Belgian white ale. So like I said, this is my first time trying this. I'm pretty excited to try it, actually. I've heard pretty good things about the Trouble Brewery beers. All right. So it poured really nicely. It's a nice copper appearance. It's got a one, one and a half finger, slightly off-white, creamy looking head. The aroma. It's really not too much there. There's a little bit of sweetness on the nose. Uh, could be coming from the honey, could be coming from the lightly roasted barley malt. You are getting a little bit of that barley malt as well. A very clean smelling beer. Very light on the aroma. Just a little bit of sweetness. Light roasted barley malt. Nothing too much going on. Uh, looks really good. It's super filtered. Super clear. Looks good. Smells good. So let's get into this. Cheers guys. You're getting some nice roasted barley malt complexity with this one. A good breadiness in the middle of the sip. The carbonation is light to medium. Pretty light bodied overall. Easy drinking. And at 4.5% alcohol, you could drink quite a few of these, no problem. There is a little bit of sweetness on the back end. It doesn't come into play initially, but it does kind of creep up on you. Uh, and it's there in the finish. That honey is, but it's very light. It's not a super sweet beer. There's just enough honey added to let you know that there's honey in there without it being overly sweet um, and take away from the roasted barley malt that you get with this one and that nice breadiness in the middle of the sip, which is definitely present. There's also an ever so slight hop bite on the back end, although very, very mild. I would imagine the IBUs are maybe around 10 or 12, nothing too much on that honey. Uh, just, just enough to kind of balance out the sweetness from the honey and the caramel malty type flavors that you're getting with this one. But this one is super, super refreshing, very enjoyable. It reminds me a little bit of the Dundee Honey Brown, although I think it is a little bit superior to that product. Uh, it's a little bit more well-balanced, and there is a noticeable honey flavor. Um, but, it, I mean, it is very muted, but it's there. You know it's there, whereas with the Dundee Honey Brown, uh, you don't necessarily think honey when you drink that beer. Um, but this one, yeah, the honey is nice, albeit mild, very nice. And it does have some really nice carbonation. Yeah, that carbonation is probably medium, actually. I think I said light to medium carbonation earlier. It's more on the medium side, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, nice lacing going down the glass as well. I mean, for a, a cheap craft-style beer that you can buy at Walmart, you can buy a 12-pack uh, variety pack at four different beers. 
craft style beers for less than 15 bucks. Uh, I got my 12 pack, I believe, for $13.99, but uh, the price is going to vary a little bit depending on the area that you live in. But you should be able to get these products just about at any Walmart store uh, in the country that sells alcohol, as far as I know. Um, so. Yeah, very, very enjoyable product. It's definitely in the A range for me. I'm going to give it one more sip, and I'll go ahead and give you guys a rating. It's an A, uh, and it's a solid A. This is uh, one of the better beers in this, in this category that I've had. Uh, it definitely beats out the Honey Brown for me. Um... It's very sessionable, easy drinking, um, and cheap for a craft beer. <sighs> or craft style beer, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is brewed by Genesee, so technically I guess you can't call it a craft beer because their distribution and their production far exceeds the craft beer requirements. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's... It's up there. It's good. Um, I'm going to go solid 95 out of 100. Just right down the middle. 95 out of 100. Solid A. Really, really enjoyable. I highly recommend that you go out and pick up one of the um, Variety 12 packs. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Um, I'm really excited to try the other two. Uh, I've had the, uh, the Belgian White, which I reviewed earlier. I thought that one was really good. And this Red Flag Amber Ale with Honey Added is also a winner so 95 out of 100 for the trouble brewing red flag amber ale so that'll do it for this beer review everybody hope you're having a great weekend and until next time cheers